Unajua hiyo ni challenge nzuri sana, si ndio? Haya, hiyo challenge imetoka kwako mzee wangu, kwako na kwako. In 2013 na 2014 mimi ndio nilipatia omtata documents ya kwenda kotini. Apige hii kitu. In 2014 mimi ndiyo nilisponsor mlikuwa nasikia kelele ya Alfred Kitel. Hiyo ilikuwa education yangu kwa wabunge wapige hii kitu. Uhuru mwenyewe ndugu yangu alinipigia usiku mmoja he talked to me for two hours. Kuniambia I am sabotaging the economy of Kenya. Na atafunga mimi Nikamwambia please go ahead. I must divorce myself and educate the people of this country hii maneno. Na nilikuwa mtu wa biashara, si mtu wa siasa. I have been very vocal. Lenaola alitupa hiyo kesi. Tukaisukuma ikaenda Supreme Court. Si Supreme Court, Court of Appeal in 2020. And court of appeal said this thing is null and void. Sisi ndio tulikuwa nyuma ya hiyo kitu. So sisema tulinyamaza tulikuwa nafanya kazi but in the back kwa sababu sisi hatusii watu wa siasa. Hatukuwa watu wa siasa. Sasa tunazungumza kwa sababu tuko mbele, si ndio? Tuko mbele. And I'll tell you hii kitu haitaisha leo. Haitaisha leo. Hile hii watu wamefanya they are going to cause a revolution in this country. Na musidout ati hatuwezi fanya hiyo kitu. Mzungu alikuwa hapa mbeberu. Alikuwa me colonize 500 million people dunia nzima. The largest empire. Na ni hapa tu Kenya aliona vita ya ukombozi wa inchi. Mujipigie makofi wakati wa moi labda nyinyi wengine wa mkuu mumezaliwa wakati wa moi ni watu wawili watatu maximum sita ambao walisema huyu mtu tutamuondoa tunataka multi partisan tumuondoe na wakati huo katiba ilikuwa nasema katiba before 2010 kufikiria si hata kusema kufikiria ati rais hayuko kwa kiti unapelekwa jela it is called treason kufikiria si hata kusema na alipeleka watu wengi gerezani si aliondoka si moyo aliondoka ha don't underestimate yourselves Musiwe na hofu ati hatuwezi kufanya hiki kitu. Hii kitu msidanganywe na mtu. Hakuna suluhu ingine ni revolution peke yake. Revolution in thinking, revolution in strategy na revolution kuondoa hawa tu even without an election. Because people power is supreme. Musingoje mambo ya election. Hapa Sudan muliona nini? Wa mama walisimama. Kweli ama si kweli? Walisema hii hii huyu mtu bei ya mkate imefika hapa. Aa. Tutamuondoa. Hii yetu kwa sababu Kenya is a country of fast. Kwa Afrika we are a country of fast hapa haitakuwa na damu haitakuwa na bunduki hii itakuwa ya wananchi na roho ya wa Kenya that is what is going to happen and that's what we must call on kwa sababu kwa kizungu inaitwa the people's choice theory ukiona viongozi ambao wanajitetea mambo yao tu hawajali wananchi 
wananchi wanachukua power and they use the people's choice theory wao wenyewe wanaondoa hao watu so musiba na hofu i said before you are not kenyan because you are born in kenya you are born you are kenyan because kenya is born in you musimame namna hiyo asanteni sana Uh, kuna 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 jibu ya ya, ya petroli sorry nime, nime, nime ya petroli nataka ujue hivi ndugu yangu as long as tunalipa hii madeni currency yetu itakuwa inaendelea kushuka na ikiendelea kushuka any imports ambayo tunaleta itakuwa very expensive petroli ni moja wao na hii serikali imeanza subsidy juice lakini hawana hela. They cannot continue it. Hawana hela. Ile contract ya G2G wali sign kwa mfano. Ile consignment tulichukua in March dola ilikuwa 127. Six months later tunalipa in September hiyo consignment. Dola ilikuwa 147. Hiyo difference ya 20 ndio inapelekwa kwa pamoja. He contract ukiangalia vizuri bei ya petroli you can you can predict mpaka September next year hapa ile 300 uh, sante sana bado ni habari tu za kugofia uh, na challenge inakuja kwa kina mama kina mama mpo